And now, the cast of Uncle Mike Ruins Christmas ruins your cherished holiday memories. We got a note one night that we had too much fucking... <laughs> all like well, I mean, too, horny. too thirsty. Yeah. If you if you add me, Randy, and Elena to your cast, that's what you're gonna get. So I'm just saying. <laughs> I I will say that I wasn't totally focused on butts because uh, Nick's nuts did come out of his box. Very nice. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like this one. This is from Susie S. Um, this is this is this is this is, this is this <laughs> one that we would totally do. I love this one for decades. My family displayed a Christmas ornament I stole from the mall. Every time I saw it, I felt guilty slash bemused. But where would this one go? Well, I'd uh, start the scene by opening an oven. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely start as the dad who happened to be a mall cop and didn't know that the or oh, ornament was stolen. Yeah, I, I, would, I would be sitting backstage sort of recalling a similar moment where I stole a, a thing of Tic Tacs when I was a kid and felt so bad that I took the Tic Tacs back um, after they were half eaten um, and put them back on the shelf. They were just tacks. <laughs> Good God, Randy. In my head, it's one of the, um, the ornament that you stole is actually one of those things they hang on Christmas trees. They're like little paper angels that tell you the poor child that needs. Um... Aztec a gift card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in my head, that ornament is actually just kept a bunch of poor children from having a good Christmas. I think I would have followed Ian's lead on this one is the mall cop. And I would have been his partner who was, uh, it was his final case. One and, day for uh, retirement. I got some, I got, you know, that case that bothered us for years. You know, you know the ornament thief. We finally pulled a print. I would consider you in on it and I would lock you up in front of her. Oh, uh, see, I figured that we would have to like get vengeance because we had sworn that we would kill whoever that was. <laughs> <laughs> and not quickly. Uh, then I'd give you the gun and be like, pull the trigger, come on. You said you'd do it. <laughs> then I'd immediately do it and then shoot myself. Aw. Now, now we need to some, it's like we're there. We need to work in some sex. This is from uh, uh, Callista, who's a, a good friend of Jet City Pro. Um, when I'd only known my husband for a month, I celebrated Christmas with his family and spent a full three days there with his family. They were all very sweet. I was amazed how well his mom and stepmom got along. We went for a long family walk, and then both his mom and stepmom built an IKEA furniture item together. Mid it's a midsummer. It's a midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> I would start by opening an oven. <laughs> cool. I, I would I would start by opening the microwave. Ooh, I would sit backstage and think that the moms are gonna fuck by the end of the scene, and Absolutely. I'm not gonna be in the scene, but I'm just gonna see if my theory is correct. I'd walk in as Calista, see both my moms bend over open doors, and be like, "Mom." <laughs> <laughs> And you know the dad would walk in and try to join, and they would be like, "No, <laughs> our Christmas." I would wait, wait for the family to come out to uh, walk through the neighborhood, and I would definitely be like the neighbor waving hello uh, as I'm hanging Christmas lights. See, I feel like the hidden gem in there is the <laughs> fact that they put together an IKEA furniture item. Yeah, together. Like, we're not there yet, Doug. We're not there yet. I just Doug, opened, God. Opened, Doug. I just opened the, just opened the microwave. Yeah. But we're in, we're in the kitchen because uh, we we're we're getting some snacks ready for putting together um, the. Uh, uh, the 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 flux darn uh, uh, dresser um, for our sweet our sweet daughter. This would be one of those ones where I'm like off on the side going, oh fuck, how do I ruin this one? <laughs> Better start jacking off. IKEA make a dildo, and it's so weird. Now. It's dildo. It's a Sibian. <laughs> they, they make a they make a really it just nice. Just make a Sibian, Sibian. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, this is from uh, the artistic director of Jet City Improv, I'm pretty sure. Um, for, for Christmas, we had to go to the midnight mass at our very Catholic church. Often, we would try so hard not to fall asleep, then we'd be wired for three hours after. Hmm. I mean, how are they wired? Yeah, they're is getting microdosing. Involved? Yeah, microdose is good. My yeah. microdosing in the cocaine yeah. microdose. That's pretty fun. They stick around the the. Uh, the cathedral for too long and they get what they get wind of like the the 2 a.m mass it's just it's just an orgy <laughs> the real 2 a.m mass maybe a little like po cask of a month montadio what's it like they're gonna entomb somebody for christmas <laughs> as they always do <laughs> i don't know why but that, right i'm I'm thinking of the the, the 2 a.m. Uh, orgy, and there's like there's a DJ who's like wearing a, a dead mouse helmet, but it's a giant like pope hat, uh, <laughs> just like with the X eyes and the big smile. <laughs> so there's no head. Just pope hat. I think we're all we all feel really good about it going towards like sort of a 2 a.m. after party's rave. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. I was yeah. thinking yeah. I would be like Mario's friend who shows up after mass. Is like I'm the bad kid who's at the church, and I'm like, hey, we should do coke. I would be that guy that swings the incense ball and then <laughs> 2 a.m. mass. I, I, would, I would definitely like <laughs> um, Yeah, or doing that. Yeah, 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as soon as the bass drops, Randy goes from like swinging the fragrances <laughs> to like. She's a point <laughs> further, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Ian just said something very smart. I gotta hear it. <laughs> I said 2, 2 a.m. communion is 100% ecstasy tablets. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. I imagine all of the all of the like nuns that have on those like super fuzzy leg warmers, like the really like hot pink ones that they wear to the uh, And then like I, I feel like Murph this whole time has been leading mass, right? But then for the 2 a.m., like he pulls off his robe and there's been somebody else inside the robe with him the whole time. Nice. Oh, <laughs> Just giving them a look. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Preston. <laughs> there's there's, there's the two, sets, yeah. two attendees who are furries, but one's a snake and one's the beast from Revelations. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Revelations. That would be the best name for the club. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. Club. <laughs> so this is one found on reddit my dad was super poor like we had a single cell phone as our phone and the tv was on the box that's it he, and he came home with a small necklace for my sister and i a, uh, and a small items uh one each for everybody i don't know how he could afford them but that meant so much to him. he made sure the holiday was great for us even though we were dirt poor love you dad dad's secretly rich yeah, this is <laughs> yeah dad, got, dad, dad got rich on cryptocurrency and he's been hoarding wealth from his children uh, yeah that's great the one door yeah. you're not supposed to open yeah. and you open it up and it's like literal <laughs> dad is this a server farm yeah stay exactly. out of my room it's oh, his good. other family with his like the wife that stayed with the like it's still their mom that they thought left and then the other kids that are all rich exactly <laughs> with the kids in the living room like playing with sticks or something <laughs> And the kids on the other side got like one of them got an upside down printed stamp or something for Christmas. Oh man, like, those the, poor toys. Whenever we get to do poor toys, oh, poor toys are the best. I love poor toys. <laughs> I mean, you know, in this one, the poor kids are gonna have to make a tree out of the cardboard boxes of the presents yeah. that happened in the night. Other room. kids, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, it just cuts out. It's like a factory where the poor kids do all of the work for the presents for the rich kids. Oh my God! Yes. You see, like, there's a cycle of like the poor kids uh, have to do all this extra the work. Server and the rich farm kids get run. Work. Like the power all come from a uh, like a wheel that they run on. Child yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> It's just Parasite. This movie is just par this, this this, this Parasite. This is always Parasite. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. The rich kid's presence is they get one of the poor kids to go through a saw. I was just thinking <laughs> saw. I was just thinking saw. Preston looks amazing right now. Preston looks like ready for the Christmas purge. Which I guess technically oh, every good idea. holiday movie. Christmas purge. Christmas purge. That's a no, that's... Yeah, that's Molly, good. Molly, you got some Hollywood contacts. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm Molly. I'll field this one. Oh, a Hollywood question? What's up, Mike? We want to do the purge as a holiday movie. 
Yeah, pur- purging all the way. I think a very purge Christmas sounds good. Uh, the purge says switch. <laughs> Four calling purge, three French hens. I no. missed it. In a, in a partridge in a pear tree. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Purge, purge on this. <laughs> Purger boy. Oh. Purge actually. <laughs> the Purge and Mary that did all the work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the great Purge, Charlie Brown. Uh, that, there's the Hallmark movie, A Kiss Before Purge. <laughs> this isn't a Christmas movie, but Flowers for Purging on is my next one. <laughs> Garfield Ooh, Purge Christmas. The purge Prince. <laughs> a Garfield Purge Ooh. Christmas. Lights, please. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Miss all you motherfuckers real bad. Yeah, same. Me too. Same. I love you guys. It's, it sucks we can't do the show this year, yeah. but next year. Next year, it has to be twice as fucked up. <laughs> I feel twice like there's going to be a hard. lot of good shit coming yeah. from uh, all the people cooped up. Mm-hmm. Having- oh, I mean, right now, like, we got this for the YouTube video, ready? Like, <clears throat> well, Mike, you definitely ruined Christmas this year. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, as Auntie Mandy always says, How is this compute? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I on? Am I on? And remember, as Sister Molly always says, Oh, no thanks. (laughs) (laughs) And remember, as Sexy Rudolphs always say, Oh, it's that neat. Rut row shaggy, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and remember, as Uncle Mike always says, I wear a mask by force, not fear. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>